The first settlers in the Washita's were American Indians. The Caddo tribe had one of the largest villages in the area where they grew gardens in the fertile soils of the Washita's. One of the most important features of the Washita's is the variety of natural resources found there. The Crater of Diamonds, America's only diamond mine, is located near Murfreesboro, Arkansas. This public diamond mine park has produced many large diamonds as well as other gemstones. In 1924, the largest diamond, called Uncle Sam, was found here and the rough weight was 40.23 carats. The diamond, of course, is Arkansas's state gem. and. That is because Arkansas is the only state in the Union where diamonds are found. And not only are diamonds found in Arkansas, but it's the only place on this continent where the public can go dig in the ground for diamonds and actually keep what they find. So this is a very unique situation. Diamonds were discovered at the Crater of Diamonds over 100 years ago, and there have been several attempts at commercial ventures involving diamonds, but today the Crater of Diamonds State Park is really the focal point for diamond digging, and good-sized gems are often found there. Yeah, I don't see why I couldn't find a diamond real quick. <laughs> the most prominent hard rock mineral is quartz crystal, for which this region is known. Quartz mining is done in this area, especially near Mount Ida, a region known for these crystals. Today, the Washita Forest is used for timber production and recreation. The Washita National Forest hosts hundreds of visitors each year to enjoy its lakes and rivers. Tourists flock to visit Hot Springs National Park and to watch horse racing at Oaklawn. 